Hey everyone, today I'm going to review this new liquid watercolor product from Schminker that's called the Aqua Drop. I bought this set of five bottles from Jackson's Art UK and each bottle is around 6 UK sterling pounds or 7 US dollars. So if you buy them in a set, it's slightly cheaper for each bottle. And this is a 30 ml bottle that comes with this dropper. The bottle is plastic. And the pricing is actually very competitive to Dr. PH Martin's Hydra's liquid watercolor. So let's see what sort of information we have on the label. We have the light fast rating and whether or not it's transparent or opaque. We have the name of the color in different languages. These are pigmented, which means you should shake before you use them. And this is made in Germany. The bottle only comes in one size, 30 ml. And the pigment that's used here for lemon yellow, it's PY3. And this is magenta, which uses PR122. Now this magenta, the pigment that's used here, it's different compared to the Schminker watercolor tube and pen magenta, which uses PV42. So the name here, it's a bit different. And here as well, this is cyan blue PB153, which is commonly known as phthalo blue. The other two colors that I have are this opaque white, and this is deep black PBK7. So this set is the primary color set. I think it's a good set for artists to test whether or not these products can fit uh, in your workflow can be used to create the art that you make. Let's put some paint onto the porcelain palette. But before that, let's shake it. it. Seems like there is something inside to help with the shaking. That's great. This is very concentrated watercolor, so I'm going to put perhaps two drops. I'll add more later on if needed. I prefer to use tubes and pens because they are more portable. I like to sketch outdoors, so it makes more sense for me to use pens. If you use liquid watercolor, do let me know in the comment section below what sort of um, art this type of watercolor is best used for. Let me color this sketch that I've just drawn. I'm going to start by painting with concentrated paint. The paint feels thick so if you want it to flow slightly better you may want to add a little bit of water so this is very vibrant very concentrated and this is magenta pr122 it's very vibrant and it seems like it's very transparent so this is very similar to working with ink because this is very fluid and this is Cyan PB153. Very transparent and very vibrant as well. Let's mix some skin tones with yellow and red. So this is probably going to dry much lighter later on. It works no different compared to watercolor from tube and pen once you mix the paint. Let's see if we can get a bright orange with this lemon yellow and magenta. So I'm going to have the colors blend on the paper. Lemon yellow is a cool yellow so um, in terms of when it comes to mixing orange it's going to be quite limited and let's mix a green so i'm going to paint this uh, wet on wet and add in some phthalo and see how it works 
see how it blends. And let's have purple, magenta, and cyan. And let's mix the three primary colors together and see what we can get. We can get a very nice neutral color. And now let's have black. This is very dark. This paper that I'm using, by the way, it's Fabriano 5 cold press 300 GSM with 50% cotton content. Let's try some glazing. Works well. And now let's test the white and see how opaque it is. This is concentrated white from the bottle. This looks like it's thicker compared to the colors. It's quite opaque, but to really make it very opaque, you have to go over it another time. So this is great for painting some highlights. Let's see what happens when you add opaque white to some cyan. So you can see the color, it becomes opaque and it becomes lightened. It loses the vibrancy of the watercolor. And now you can almost paint with it as if it's gouache. Let's see what we have here now that everything has dried. So earlier on I said that the watercolor will lighten but it doesn't lighten that much so good thing is when you're painting the color when it's wet it's going to look very similar to when it's dry. And all this dries to a very matte surface. I mean, it's watercolor after all, so I didn't expect it to be glossy. The colors blend quite well, but a lot will have to do with the type of paper you are using. So if you use really good watercolor paper, you can get very beautiful, very gradual blends, very soft blends. So for this particular primary color set, um, it's quite versatile. I guess the only limitation is you won't be able to mix a very bright warm orange, but you can definitely mix a nice skin tone. And this is how the white looks when dry. So you can see the white, it's very opaque, but it's not like 100% opaque. This is probably 90%. You have to go over it one more time to make it totally opaque. But this is actually quite good. There's no information on whether or not these colors are staining. So let's try and see if we can leave the colors. It's very difficult to leave the colors. I mean, if you want to, you can go over it several times and you can uh, leave some colors but I would say these are pretty permanent on paper once it's dry. I find it quite convenient to use a palette like this with small mixing wells compared to the larger one that I always use for my watercolor tubes and pens. So this is more convenient and I have a separate palette just for mixing. At the time of this review, there are only 24 colors available, so that's quite limited. One thing I forgot to mention is this liquid watercolor, 
they can be used in markers and also for airbrushing. I don't have airbrush so I cannot test that out but I am probably going to get some empty markers and make another video on how good these are when used with markers. Another thing about these colors is uh, from what I can see online, uh, it doesn't seem like there are any granulating colors. I don't see ultramarine and even for the burnt sienna that they are selling, it's not PBR7, they are using PBR25 and for burnt umber, it's PG36 and PBR25. So those are not granulating colors. All right, let me know in the comments section below what you think about these products. Do you use liquid watercolor? What do you use them for? I would love to hear from you. And if you are interested to get the Schmincker Aqua Drop, you can get them through the Amazon and Jackson's Art affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.